All right, you guys, we're going plant shopping. Well, I'm here at the Green Acres in Roseville, and I just wanted to show you guys around while I plant shop for the garden I inherited. This place is fucking huge. I'm looking for some sort of vining plant to go up the front wall. I like the idea of honeysuckle and jasmine. I love the smell of both of them. They have a lot of stuff to pick from. <laughs> I've never seen Japanese maple like that before. It's on trellises for some reason. All kinds of good old planties, boxwood, and more boxwood, and birds of paradise. I love that they have budget-friendly favorites. Very fun. Got some little teeny pines of all shapes and sizes. There's some jasmine. Let's go see how much this is. $95 for this giant boy on a trellis. Which, I mean, not a bad deal. Especially for what I'm going to do, which is train it to grow up my house. <laughs> which my mom thinks is a bad idea, but I think will look really cool. Now, they have a bunch of Japanese maples, which I should really tell my grandmother how much she could sell hers for. Because if they're selling them for 90 professionally, she could at least get 50 per. I mean, even the small ones are 70 I don't know if she knows which kind they are, but shit. All she does is garden and try and hang out with their family so a little income here and there would be good that's cool look at Kirby weeping blue atlas cedar serpentine $135 for a 10 gallon what's this I don't know why it caught my eye Japanese snow bell so my problem at my house is I pretty much have full sun everywhere and that's it. Ooh, these are pretty. Lilies of some sort, I think. I'm not gonna take you through the whole of Green Acres, but I mean, there's so many plants. Is this variegated? That's really cool. I mean, you can't really see on camera. Oh, oh there you can. It's kind of pretty. So in Sacramento, this is a good sign. A very, very good sign. Manzanita, Dr. Hurd. Ooh, my grandma likes Dr. Manzanita. Little one gallon ones. They're so cute. Let's see. Go back this way. Giant rose bushes and stuff. Mm -hmm. These are different types of rosemary that I've never seen. Kind of cool. Coast Rosemary Mundi. Wanabi Gem. This is rosemary? Huh. I've never seen rosemary that looks like this. That's actually kind of cute. That's a fun flower. Bottle brush, little John. I like the look of this stuff too. Abelia kaleidoscope. And here's some jasmine. $30 for five gallons of star jasmine. Carolina jessamine for $12.50. I like pink jasmine. They have it for $12.50 for a gallon. I like the way the leaves are kind of spiky versus other jasmines. Where is it? Right here. Star jasmine has a different leaf shape. Let's see? My grandpa just gave me a cutting of his pink, pink jasmine, but I 
don't know how long it's gonna take for that to be a full plant. So this is still very tempting, especially with the $50 gift card my grandma gave me. Here's some honeysuckle, five gallons for 35, gallon for 12.50, or there's old flame honeysuckle for 65. This one has really pretty pink and yellow flowers. Open one. $18.50, so it's a little bit more expensive for these ones, but they're way prettier. It's also very tempting. That's nice. They even have water cups for those of us who are very, very thirsty. <sighs> I am not that at the moment, but it's a nice touch. These are pretty. It just says rose patio tree. I like inside. Kind of pinky. I've never been the biggest fan of roses, probably because they don't smell that great to me, and because rose is literally part of my name. Price, but yeah, I mean, roses are pretty. You know, lots of people like them. What is your favorite flower to put in your garden? Ooh, cool little wind thingy. It's kind of mesmerizing. It's a really pretty color blue. If you could. Well, I would also love to put in a guava tree. They're really pretty flowers too. Very strange looking. But at twenty nine, oh nope, they have a nine gal, a nine dollar one. That's better. The full sun, good drainage, most soils, best fruit with some supplemental water, but low water usage, so that's good. I'm just nervous to put in any plants before I get a drip system put in. Does anyone have experience with putting in drip systems? That's kind of pretty. Oleander, those are pretty. Twenty seven gallon at. $27.50 for five gallons. They have different varieties of everything. Different varieties of everything. I don't even know. Rock roses. Love these. I definitely want to put some of this in as well. Be kind of nice at the edge of my property to kind of make a pretty fence. Maybe that's what I'll do. But I mean, how can you resist these flowers? They're so pretty. Not much else to see out here. Well, there's plenty else to see out here, but nothing necessarily I want to go through at the moment. Dinner plate hibiscus. I didn't know that was a thing. Giant chain fern. I would love to put some ferns out there because I love ferns but there's so much sun outside that I don't know where the heck I would put it. I guess I could do it in a pot on the uh, lawn part of my grandma always had these lily of the valley lily of the nile in her yard it's like a spider plant tinkerbell sweet pea shrub petite butterflies caught my eye so pretty another thing i'm looking for is a really pretty very walking on tolerant kind of ground cover really thinking about some elfin time because look how short it is like that's it it doesn't even get longer than my fingernail and you can walk on it and it smells good and it likes crappy soil. 28 bucks a flat is not the worst, but I don't know. I like the idea of that. I also love these flowers. They're so pretty. They're not open right now, I think, but 
this one. Here's some flats of star jasmine for some reason. That's interesting. I didn't notice that when I was over here earlier. They also have baby tears, which is another ground cover choice, but I don't know how tolerant it is to being stepped on. Ice plant. It's got really pretty flowers, but I'm not into succulents. What is this? Veronica Repens. That looks pretty. Ooh, little yellow flowers. So cute. What's this? Pink clover, dichondra, green carpet. This could probably survive my backyard. Irish moss. No, that's not Irish moss. That is white star creeper. Signs are right next to each other. Forgive me. It's really pretty flowers, but I wish it come in different colors. Ornamental strawberries. I feel like I missed something that I saw earlier, or maybe that was a different nursery. Anyway. So, I didn't tell you guys, but I bought a huge set of pots and pottery from this lady who's moving to Canada. And she sold a whole bunch of stuff for 20 bucks. She included a strawberry pot in there and this one's $45. So on the strawberry pot alone, I came up, which is pretty freaking cool. Mm, we got basil of all sorts, all kinds of goodies, trellises. But now we're gonna go to my favorite part because as much as I like the idea of gardening, I'm definitely more of a houseplant nerd. Oh, this was not here last time I was here. That's cute. <gasps> Look at the little guys. I love these little pots. They're so cute. Again, too bad I'm not really into succulents because that's really cute. Oh, they have all kinds of stuff. Right off the bat, I'm singing, singing Philodendron Red King, which I've never heard of, but it's kind of pretty. Look at this, it's so cute. It makes me, these make me want to have succulents. So, oh my gosh, and they have, what, Saracenia? Whatever, they have a whole bunch of carnivorous plants, which are so over and little and cute, and I want to make them all mine. Okay, I see you. Really curious how much those are. That's pretty. See, these are summer glories, thirty-seven fifty, and these big old what are these called? So that's a philodendron moonlight. This is foliage assorted, helpful. And their micans are fifteen fifty for a six inch. Not bad. Good. How are you? Look at that. The Fedora dragon tail, thirty-two fifty, foliage assorted. the monsteras and these guys which are in the spider plant family chlorophytum fire flash 1550 i just think they're really cool with the orange and that's a birkin mixed in with something else with their little adansonii and regular bit of flora oh wow that's a lot of plant for 1350, 2250. Oh, they're cute. Uh, I really like that color. Ooh, they're self watering. That's fun. Got all kinds of philodendron and puffos. Oh. All varieties. What's that? Prince of Orange always catches my eye. Mm. I have a 
assorted, oh my gosh, Peperomier, Jesus. By just Audrey and Christina, Benjamina. One forty for the big ones. Twenty four fifty for the golden cocos. Yeah, I guess it's a decent size, but still. The blues for twenty seven fifty are much better, less common. Oh, this one's got a weeping fig. Ugh, I'm so jealous to get their Chattiscantias blooming. I mean, come on. How cool is that? And all the ferns. I really want to do a Pokedama video. I've never made one before, but I feel like I could probably show people how to do it. Maybe we'll get my mom on. That would be fun. Yes. Ooh, look at that giant blue star fern. I don't see a price on there. Well, guess it's free. <laughs> All the begonias. Are so pretty. Most of these are $13.50. Oh, I like how dark this one is. Black sky. It's pretty. Classic angel wing. Ooh, they have this this, this this color. 1850 for an actual full pot of it, which is cool because I think mine's really dead. Really, really dead. They have a ton of different Hoya. Curticia. 15. Oh my gosh. I spent so much money trying to get Hoyas to like me and I kind of just gave up. Although I really do like this one. It's cute. They're kind of in that. They're okay. Mm -hmm. What is this? It says it's a Hoya. I just don't see what kind. Useless. Can we see through? No, we can't. Well, let me know if you recognize that. Minions, more Micans. And of course, my favorite table. The Calathea table. Prayer plant table, excuse me. Look at the Stromanthi. 1350. Even these are good deals now. <gasps> Look, it's a ladybug. I wonder how you've. Oh, there's another one. Look at two ladybugs. Eyelash fern. <laughs> I love ferns. Oh, that's really flashing. Wow. Kinds classic house plants. Vanilla orchids, really cool. I want a variegated one. These are 55 for the small pots, which you would think is exorbitant, but you know, they are uncommon. 75 for the variegated one. Definitely not taking that home, but it's pretty. The milliads. Regular orchids. Ooh, fun pot. Shibariana. Silt of a Kana for 85. What? No way. Are these rare in Sacramento or something? Clarinervium for 55. Anthurium pterodactyl. What the heck? These are so cute. And of course, their little Taikon. 210 for those. 
I got a better deal on my one. Look for the four hey yard. And walk in your boobies So cute. All kinds of two aquarium setups. The little baby section, which is fun. Ooh! Variegated African violets. Might have to get that from my mom. Four fifty. That's super cute. But I don't know if she would like the flower color. We're not big purple people. Autumn fern, always pretty. I don't know why so little of it is pink. Oh, this reminds me of the one I killed. It was so sad. I don't even know what happened. 975. That's a better deal than I got. But then again, I was shopping in Marin, which is way more expensive. So pretty. Ooh, they got more cacti back here. The whistling toad. Alocasia pink 
princess, silver dragon for 20, pink dragon for 20, Maharani 22.50. really pretty. Regal Shield for $13.50. I'm very tempted. I've always wanted one of those. This is Ladder Bacchiana. Purple Sword. No names. Ivory Coast. Yucatan Princess. I've got a Zabrina. Bambino. Hilo Beauty. 20. Dwarf Amazonica. Caladora, nice. $15.50. The Dark Star for $40. Wow, it's way bigger than the one I bought. Well, I mean, obviously, since I practically killed the thing. This is an Alocasia Stingray for $165. Wow. The Flying Squid is so cute. $13.50. They have a fry deck for $20. And a tiny dancer, thirteen fifty. Highly pepper meal meetings for twenty five. You can make fairy gardens to your heart's desires or content, whichever. That thing, the Tycon. for seven thirty. Right, something just caught my eye. It's called Leucodendron Jester, five gallons for $55. But look at it, it's so pretty. Variegated with cream and pink and green. I need to have this at some point. So I'm glad I'm taking this video because that's not quite in my budget at the moment, but that will go in my garden eventually, I love it. Wow. It says, full to partial sun, so I could pretty much plant it anywhere at my house. Low water once it's established, and yeah, it should be really happy at my house. So I was always also thinking of adding a clematis because I got my grandpa a purple one for his anniversary, like this, a couple years ago, and he loves it, and I'm very much like him. But I like this color better. I don't know if I'm ready to shell out $42 on one vine yet but it's a good one to keep in mind. It's called the Wester Platte Clematis. It's really pretty. So I just saw these beauties. They're called Goldflower Tricolor, full sun or partial shade, $12.50 a gallon. They want moderate water though, so I'm gonna pass this time, even though I really like them. Let's see. They have these, St. John's Wort Floral Berry Series, partial shade, Two gallons for 35. Got really cute looking flowers too. I like that. Camellias of all various flower types. I just got a free camellia plant from my grandpa though, so I'm gonna pass on these as well. But I'm excited for some flowers. Look how pretty it is. And gardenias. They also want moderate water. So we're gonna pass on these as well. But I love gardenia flowers and magnolia flowers. That's another thing I want. I don't know if they have them here though. Dwarf variegated gardenia. I didn't know that it existed. They like afternoon shade. All right, I found the yellow scotch moss and the Irish moss, both $6.50 for a six pack. And the regular scotch moss, it's so cute. Look at it. And that's even more green. They also have leptinella, which is not looking the best right now. Chondra. These are all ground covers that could be cute. Because I want green out there. I just don't want real green. I know. I don't know what this is, but it's kind of pretty. But these are things that cannot go in until until the AstroTurf comes out. I like that it has little flowers. Oh, look at it. Pretty. Alright, so I'm done shopping at Green Acres and I got something. Gold Flame Honeysuckle. And it was nineteen dollars, and I'm very excited. I know we gotta so, go. Wish me luck. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoy plant shopping with me. See you later. Bye.